how do you know if you're a witch? Hi, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com and if you're new to this channel and you want to find out more about witchcraft and whether you are a witch or not, then hit the subscribe button below so that you don't miss anything. In this video, I want to talk about how you know whether witchcraft is the path for you. How do you know that you're a witch? Number one, you will resonate with nature. You will have an affinity for nature. You will communicate with nature. Nature will communicate back to you. You will resonate with nature and not just the earth, nature as in the earth, but also the stars, the planets, the whole cosmos. And you'll understand that it, we're all connected. We are all one. We are all part of this whole and that there's nothing abstract about it. We are all connected and you have that respect for nature. You care about nature care about the animals and the plants and the environment and you see all of these things as sacred as well. So that's the first thing that you will notice that you resonate with. The second thing is magic. We practice magic and we practice magic because we understand that we have a right to practice magic because if we didn't we wouldn't have the ability to practice it in the first place and that we're here to create that we're here to practice magic in order to create the type of lives that we want to create and the world that we want to create. And even if a part of you is afraid of magic because of your upbringing and what you've been conditioned to believe about magic, you, again, there will be a part of you that knows that you want to practice magic and that you have the ability to practice magic. So that's the number two aspect of knowing whether you're a witch or not. Number three, blends these together. It is a feeling of coming home. So when you do explore the spirituality of nature, when you do explore your connection to nature and your connection to magic, and you read more about it and you practice it, it's a feeling of coming home. It's like it's something that has been a part of you forever. And it's a real heart feeling. You will resonate with it in your heart. So it won't, won't just be, oh, this is interesting as in something to do with your thinking in your head for, as an intellectual interest. It will be a real heart feeling. It's a feeling of coming home. That one thing is the key to knowing that it's the path for you because the coming home will come through the connection to nature, which is number one, and also that understanding of the magical abilities as well, which was number two. The fourth thing is that actually really makes, that makes you a witch is practice. You will practice the craft. You will practice magic. You will practice connecting to nature, resonating with nature. You will practice developing yourself, your consciousness. You will work towards developing your skills and your abilities, whether that's in healing, divination, magic, your consciousness, meditation, you'll be doing all of these things in order to develop your awareness and your skills and your abilities. You really become the witch when you practice the craft. It's like you become a violinist when you practice the violin. You become a pianist when you practice piano. You don't become a violinist from reading about how to play the violin. You actually have to get the violin out and practice it to be able to be a violinist. And the same goes for witchcraft. Just reading about it isn't practicing it. So those four things together, that connection to nature, the understanding of magic, that feeling of coming home through those things and practicing the development, the spiritual development, self-development work associated with those things is what makes you a witch. And depending on what type of tradition you're practicing in and what you're resonating with in your heart will determine whether you're a traditional witch or a green witch, kitchen witch, or whether you're a Wiccan or any of those sort of sub, those categories of the craft. But ultimately, if you want to know whether the craft is for you, those four things will be present there in, um, in a very strong way. And if you are feeling that call, calling to home through the craft and you are feeling a bit lost about knowing where to start and getting some guidance, at least through your first year of the craft, I do have an online membership course that you can jump into at any stage 
and be part of a group of like-minded people who are practicing the craft with guidance from, from me as your mentor who has been practicing the craft for over 28 years. The details about that course are in the description field below this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to comment. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. See you on the next video. Blessed be.